All right, today we're going to talk about lines and planes. So first we'll start off with a line. And a line is uh, connected by two endpoints and it goes on forever in either direction. So some examples of lines would be line uh, BD. And it doesn't matter which way you name it, it could be DB or BD. Uh, what's important is that above it, you put the line with two arrows on it. So we could also have line uh, GE. We could have, um, you could also name it like line CB. That's the same line as DB, um, but you can name it with those two points instead. All right, next is a ray. A ray is different from a line because it has an endpoint. It doesn't have two arrows. It has one point and one arrow. So the easiest ray to see, or one of the easiest rays to see, would be ray AI. So we have one endpoint at A, and then it goes on through I forever. Here, it does matter which letter comes first. So whatever point you start at has to come before the point that goes through the line with the arrow. So another ray would be ray FH. So it starts at F, travels through H, and goes on forever after H. You could also say uh, ray uh, FE. So we started at F and we went through E on forever. You could also say ray FG. So that's still starting in F, going through G on forever. You could call FG a line, but you can also call it a ray if you're only looking at part of it. And then the last one, or the third one we're going to talk about on this slide is line segment. Now line segment has to have two endpoints. So you could say line segment AF. And there's more examples than I'm going over here, so don't think you're only limited to the ones I'm talking about. There's more for most of these. All right, so another line segment you could say would be uh, BD. And you notice there's no arrows on a line segment. It's just a line above the two letters. So any two points that are connected can form a line segment. So you could say line segment FI. What you couldn't say would be line segment uh, HI because those two are not connected. So that one does not work. All right, so we have a rectangular prism here, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. And we're going to go over intersecting, parallel, and skew. So everything is going to be based on that blue line there, A, B. So that's always where we're going to start with. So first we're going to go with intersecting. Intersecting is any line that's going to touch either A or B. And we're going to color coordinate this. So EF is touching AB, or not EF, BE is touching AB. So the first one would be BE. Second one would be AC here. Third one would be AD. These are all line segments. That's why there's just a, a line with no errors above it. And the last one would be AF. All right, so parallel is any line that will never touch it. So it's not intersecting, but it's going in the same direction. So the first one parallel would be CD here. Second one back here would be EF. And the third one would be GH. Alright, and then the third term we have there is skew. And skew means it will never intersect and it's not parallel. So if you look, 
down here at the bottom, DH. DH is obviously never going to touch BA, but it's also not parallel to it, so that makes it skew. Next one would be EG up here. And then the last one would be back here at FH. If you noticed, I colored, oh wait, one more, I forgot, CG, CG is also skew. Alright, so you notice I colored in every single line on that rectangle. So, if you're looking at a rectangle, rectangular prism, there's only three options. The lines can be intersecting, parallel, or skew.